So last year, me and my parents had the most epic Halloween costumes ever. We were Tiger King. I was a tiger. He was Joe Exotic, and my Joe mom Exotic. was none other than Carol Baskin. Of course. Of course. Of course. Because she is Carol Baskin. <laughs> but we don't know what we're doing this year, so we're going to go to Spirit Halloween to see if we can figure out if we can top Tiger King. <laughs> I don't have a clue. I don't have an idea. I don't have a theme. Something with three things. Three things. Three things. That's the only thing that we know is <laughs> that it things. needs to be three things. I think the bathroom is this way. She said to the left. Oh. She said to the left. When you go up. Go up. It's to the left. Doesn't it don't look like it's to the left. Okay, I'm gonna have to ask another person. I'm so not in my body right now. I might fall down. Mushrooms. In the far distance. The music is killing me. I can't see anything. Hey there, you cool cats. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. We've made it. This is a new a new location for this. It's in the mall where Abercrombie used to be. It still smells like Abercrombie. <laughs> still has that smell. <laughs> Spirit Halloween Abercrombie smell edition. Yeah. Well. No luck with this one either. Would it be culturally insensitive if we dressed as juggalos? I don't think so. What? I mean, she wants to know if it would be culturally insensitive to dress as juggalos. I mean, it is their culture. You could become a juggalo. It's like being a deadhead. Okay, so you could become a deadhead. Like, yeah. So it's no different than dressing up as like a deadhead, right? Yeah, I guess that's true. I don't think any juggalos follow us anyways. You found your costume. I did. Yes. I'm going to be Batgirl. Batgirl. I'm going to be Batgirl. Sexy Batgirl. Sexy Batgirl. A corset and a cape. There's not even like a thong that goes with it. What if we were... <laughs> One of us was COVID. <laughs> we had these hazmat suits. One of us was a nurse. It's forty-five dollars. Okay, at Walmart you can get this outfit for ten dollars. And then just put a number on put it. Put some yeah. numbers. It's not economical. That's the COVID patient. Oh, there's a patient. I'm just gonna get one of these and wear it around and make people nervous. <laughs> what are you doing over there? What are you doing? Yeah, you really look like you're part of the police. So not? Watch out, I'll tase you. Okay, hear me out. Hugh Hefner and his hoes. <laughs> so, who's who's Hugh? Is it me? You you'd are. Have to, you'd have to be <laughs> you're Hugh. You're Hugh Hefner and we're bunnies. Yeah, and we're bunnies. Not to say that Playboy bunnies are hoes. They're not hoes. They're not hoes. They're full within their rights as adults to do whatever they want well, to do. Well, and like classy. Yeah, it is. It's classy. They're classy. Hopefully, we won't get canceled Aww. for that. I would have been a Playboy bunny if I had been hot enough. I totally would have done it. I think, yes, we should be Hugh Hefner and his bunnies. <laughs> In Girl World, Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it.